so my name is Tyler Johnson. I am the math lab coordinator for College of the Sequoias. Uh, we cover all of the math tutoring for um, our specific college. We have three different campuses that we serve. So we have um, a main campus in Visalia as well as two other campuses in Hanford and Tulare. Uh, I personally spend a lot of my time in Hanford and Tulare and so um, being able to use tools like this where I can kind of manage all of my centers at the same time is a huge help. So Tyler, what um what features um how how specifically can you talk a little bit about how specifically academia is used um in your in your center and um what features you found most helpful? Yeah, so we use academia to um mainly track the traffic that we have in and out of our centers. So um for College of the Sequoias, we have uh, myself, I run the math lab. So all of our math tutoring can go through there. We also have a writing center as well as a general tutorial center. Um, and a language center. And so depending on which center they end up going into, um, we're able to use academia to not only track how many people are in and out on certain days, but also track what classes are being most used, uh, what instructors are sending the most students to us, which has been very valuable for us in uh, building those connections and things with faculty members. Um, and also it allows us to kind of get a feel for when is traffic heaviest, when do I need to maybe have more tutors staffed, um, is there like a day of the week where a lot of people are coming in? All, all of those are very valuable to us when it comes to staffing and when it comes to just knowing what classes we need to serve, which classes are maybe underserved. Uh, all, all of those are, are different ways that we use academia. Uh, another thing we use a lot is the reports. Um, we, I know I personally will pull reports for my tutors when I'm checking timesheets, just making sure everything lines up. They're coming in when they say they're coming in. Um, but it's also been useful for us. We have a lot of faculty members who maybe give extra credit when their students come in. And so uh, being able to very quickly see, yeah, you've had, you know, 20 students come in for this amount of time and allowing them to get a feel for who's using the center has been very helpful for us as well. So. How long have you all been using academia there? Um, we've been using academia. It was fairly new when I started, so just over about two years now. Uh, I want to say it's about two and a half ish. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when we started. It it was like I said, fairly new when I started. So, mm -hmm. do you? Yeah. Do you know what was being utilized uh, before academia in order to track student visits, or was there uh, anything in place at all? Um, I know we had a lot of paper logs when when I started. I don't remember what the plan or if that was the normal system or if that was just something that had happened um, during like COVID. But I do think COVID is really what caused us to start moving to this more online platform for these kinds of things, uh, because it makes the scheduling with like online students a breeze. Um, I've been able to offer my services to students who are maybe far enough away they can't make it onto campus physically using like the appointments features. Um, but yeah, before that, I think it was a lot of just like hand blogs and things like that. Yeah, so it's been uh, it's been something that um, is definitely an improvement over over hand logs. Um, I would imagine um, our students, uh, especially the newer newer students, are they pretty quick to adapt to it to, to utilizing it? Yeah, uh, in general, I, I tend to we have a couple videos up that kind of show students. Oh, like, here's what you click to make an appointment. Um, but a lot of it is basically like, yeah, you go to this chunk in your portal, click here and it's it seems to be fairly um, very user friendly for the students. They and you show how show them how to do it once, and then suddenly they're figuring out how to reschedule their appointments and <laughs> make and cancel and all of that fun stuff. So um, they they do tend to a lot of the newer students do tend to um, utilize the appointments feature very quickly uh, <laughs> Good. and do things that I didn't even know were possible sometimes. Oh, no. so. <laughs> Um, and as a manager, you're, you're finding it pretty easy to get the data that you need. Um, are the faculty able to go in and get and get their uh, reports or are those being sent out to them? Yeah, so it, it depends. Some of the faculty um, like being able to go in and pull their reports. Uh, maybe they, you know, have their tests different times. So when they're giving out this extra credit kind of depends. Um, but in general, we're, we're able to schedule reports for a lot of them. So there are some instructors for the Writing Center, for example, who about every two weeks will want to check in and see who's been coming in. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's a very easy one. We can schedule it, say, you know, we want to pull this report this day of this month or whatever and send it straight to them. Very easy. They 
seem to enjoy being able to get the updates every, like every now and then. So. Yeah. And in terms of like scaling, are there any features that are not really being utilized right now that you are eyeing as possibly um, additions to your account that that you have access to but haven't been taking advantage of? There were a couple actually. We we were in a meeting the other day um, where we talked about a few of them, and I'm trying to remember exactly which ones they were. Um, <laughs> I know we had talked about utilizing like the media checkout and the resource reservations because we actually in on our main campus just moved to a new building. Mm. Uh, on that building, we have study rooms now, which previously the study rooms were all through the library, so we didn't really mess with that reservation system too much. Um, but we had looked into use, utilizing the resource reservation tab for, for those study rooms. We also have um, a bunch of laptops and different media devices that students can check out now, which I believe there was a media checkout tab or yes. something along those lines. Yeah. Yep. I was like, I remember seeing that and we had talked yeah. about it. But <laughs> yeah. Um, those... so, so those are all things that we've been starting to play with a little bit and see. Um, see see if they're going to be useful for us as we really get comfortable in this new building. Excellent. Well, that's really great information, Tyler. Um, was there anything else that you wanted to add or, or anything else you wanted people to be aware of about how you are utilizing academia at your uh, at the College of the Sequoias? Um, honestly, one of the biggest things for me personally when I'm using it is it's just really nice to be able to, like I said, I bounce between all of my campuses. So I'm you know, two days in on one campus, two days on another, you know, I, I'm always somewhere where I can't keep an eye on everything. And it's it's nice for me to be able to just really quickly click like click through a tab and be like, oh, there's, you know, 12 students in this center here. And it just gives me an idea to not necessarily keep an eye on everything, but get a feel for the flow of the different campuses, regardless of where I happen to be each day. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tyler, um, and uh, for your time today.